Good afternoon, lads and lassies. Irish Demon here, back with another video. You're probably thinking to yourself, Oh no, he's gonna talk about going out chasing down bad guys, like some kind of, I don't know, some kind of amazing superhero or something, you know? Not my words. Um, anyway. Um, so... I want to talk today about a young gentleman, or a gentleman, maybe. I'm not really sure. It's kind of hard to figure it out. So this goes back to when I started my channel first. There was this guy called Trey D. Ir, it seems, because of how it's spelled, I think. Anyway, I think he was going for Trey Dior. Anyway, so this guy uh, put out a video ages ago. It was one of the first videos I did was in response to this dude, where he was saying that uh, he would take on anybody... In a debate about the shape of the earth, uh, I realize my background's a bit over blue. I'll be right back. Okay, I kind of de blued it a little bit. Anyway, so he made this video. You were probably wondering why my tongue is so red. It's from uh, Freezy's. Got a little bit of a tickle. Anyway, so this guy made a video back uh, a few months ago saying like that he would take on anybody in a debate and... You know, no globe head could ever stand up to his mighty knowledge or whatever. So I was like, okay, I don't debate. You guys know I don't debate because I've got fucking ADHD and it's really hard to concentrate for a, a whole debate. Um, all you got to do is watch a beardsman and you'll you'll see kind of what I'm talking about there. So anyway, this guy uh, said he would take on anybody. I was like, yeah, okay, let's do it. I'll take this fucking idiot on. And uh, of course he bitched out. Now, here's the thing. He said that he would debate me if I got my uh, my subscribers up and keep grinding, bro. Keep grind grinding. You'll get there, bro. So he said I was clout chasing, which is where you find a bigger channel uh, and you kind of use their name in, the, in your video to try to get more subscribers. Now... Here's here's the issue with that, okay? So he's got I don't know he doesn't he actually has his subscriber count turned off, uh, so I don't know how many subs he's got now. But at the time he had about thirteen hundred, I had about maybe five hundred something like that. So not exactly a big channel, okay? Like I've got about eighteen hundred subs now. I'm not a big channel by any stretch of the imagination. I've got an awesome group of people that follow my channel, and um, that I love to uh, chat with and you know just shoot the shit with and have a lot of fun with. And who have been super, super supportive. Um, so I don't give a shit if my channel is huge or not. Uh, obviously, I'd like to make it something and make it a bit bigger. But we're tipping away. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. Over the last two weeks, I've gotten 20,000 views. That's amazing. I, I could never have expected that. I've, like, 20,000 views is nothing compared to, you know, someone like, here's me cloud chasing, Simon Dan. Come on, algorithm. Um, someone like Simon Dan or, you know, Fight the Flat Earth, Team Skeptic. That's normal numbers for those guys. But for me, that's amazing. 20,000 views in a week, in two weeks is incredible. Let's check out Trey Dior. Let's see how many uh, views this guy that I'm apparently cloud chasing from has. Uh, so his last video had a, a whopping total of nine views in one day. Uh, now, this isn't a dick swinging contest by any stretch. This is just, I don't give a shit really how many views people have. My point is that he's using this as an excuse to get out of a debate with me. So he's brought up the whole clout thing. So I feel like I've got to address it. So let's see. The most views he's had out of his last kind of six or seven videos was 58. Oh, wait, 205. Wow, that's amazing. Um, and like, you know, my, my videos tend to average between kind of 500 and a thousand there, thereabouts. So not like, it's not a huge amount or whatever, but it's more than him. So if anybody was cloud chasing, it would be this guy. Um, but no, seriously, even if I had a channel that had 1 million subscribers and he came on and debated me, I wouldn't see that as cloud chasing. And here's why I'll explain exactly why. If I was cloud chasing, why as a flat earth debunking channel, would I want subscribers from a Flat Earthers channel? Think about that for a second. Why would I do that? That makes that makes no sense. None of his subscribers would come and subscribe to me to, you know, enjoy my content. So the clout chasing element, 
makes kind of no sense whatsoever. Anyway, let's address his uh, one of his most recent videos. It says, Flat Earth Challenge to All Globeheads. This is about the sixth or seventh time in the last six months that he's made a Flat Earth Challenge to All Globeheads that when challenged upon, he's completely backed out of. He backed out against me, MC Toon, and others. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at his video, and we'll, uh, we'll break it down and have a chat about it. This your boy Trey Dior back with another video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, smash that like button, turn notifications, all that good things, man. So, all right, all right. this is a message to all flat earthers, okay? Two words for you. Is it two words or one word? A number of words that may or may not be one or two words. Landscape. Is that one or two words? I mean, technically, it's both. I mean, technically, it's like, it doesn't matter landscape what is with this like hey man it's your boy flatty here come on dude like jesus murphy my channel is mainly based off flat earth hip-hop entertainment things like that sports but um the last couple of videos i i, I, I have been slacking i've been sick lately you know what i mean with, with a little with a little cold don't worry it's not covid nothing like that i can breathe just fine just a little head cold through the weather but um my channel mainly on um, you know I me mean? different topics, mainly flat earth, you know what I'm saying hip hop, sports. But um I'm gonna turn it up in this last couple of videos, man. I'm gonna focus more on flat earth, things like that. We're gonna break down the um the globe lies, the pseudoscience lies. Did he just say what I think he just said? The globe lies, the pseudoscience lies. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> 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 You're really not helping the flat earth cause over here. Pseudoscience. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I wish I'd watched this before making this video. Pseudoscience. Maybe you don't have a cold. Maybe you have pneumonia. Oh my god. Pseudoscience. I think I'm going to need a psychiatrist after this. Oh my god. Pseudo. That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> Pseudo. The fundies lies, you know what I mean? All, all that, all that things that they their claim is real, that it's not. We're gonna break all that down, man. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, smash that like button. We're gonna get into it. So can any globe believer tell me or give me any example of any experiment done here on Earth by any scientist that verified the sun is traveling through space as as the as the earth, the moon, the planets follow behind it? Any scientific experiments done that to verify that? Because ain't that what science about? Doing experiments and verifying the experiments to show that the scientific method works. Because if, if y'all not um ain't got no scientific method that verifies the sun traveling through space, then I just believe it in pseudoscience. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh like at somebody just not being able to pronounce something with <laughs> <laughs> Ah, just give me a second here. So, okay, some people can't pronounce certain words. That That's fine. I'm sure people laugh at how I talk all the time, too. And that's, that's you know, that's okay. But here's the difference, right? You're the one calling us stupid while you call pseudoscience pseudoscience. I mean, come on, dude. Like, come on. As for, like, independent verification, the difference between the scientific method and pseudoscience. I'm sorry. Um... You're talking about independent verification, stuff like that. There's loads of loads of things that have been done to prove that the sun is moving through space at a certain speed and that the planets are, as you put it, following on behind it. Um, it doesn't mean that you have to have a bird's eye view of the sun and all this stuff. It's not possible. Um, it's not something that can be done. The distances are enormous beyond kind of most human comprehension, certainly beyond mine. Like, I mean, I don't claim to know everything. Oh, my God. I mean, we've sent probes up to prove it. it all mathematics proves it. it. It it's just an overwhelming amount of evidence. Something that no flat earther has ever been able to provide to prove that there is a flat Earth. It's just as simple as that. Tell me what the sun is. Tell me what keeps the sun up in this firmament. What is the firmament? Can we see the firmament? Where is the ice wall? Where does the dome start and end? The, the questions go on and on and on. If you want to hear a real scientist and not just a pseudo scientist talk about this, go over and check out PhD Tony's channel. That man will teach you everything you need to know. 
because I taught him everything he knows. Anyway, um, we spoke one time about the dome and how it would be completely impossible. The eruption of Krakatoa, Tony describes it fantastically about how the sound waves traveled around what can only be a sphere. It can only be a sphere. There's no way that that sound could have traveled in any other way across a flat plane, especially if there was a dome, because there would have been an immediate reverberation. So for example, if you were standing, let's say 10 miles away from the edge of the imaginary dome, the sound wave hits you first, it travels past you, hits the dome and bounces back and hits you. That was not observed anywhere on earth. Instead, it was a really well-timed sound wave that went around what, again, can only be a globe. Now, I'm probably not explaining that very well. PhD Tony's probably face palming right now as I'm explaining this, but that's just one of many things that prove that the Earth is a globe. Not to mention all of the literal photographic video evidence that we have. Every single, every 10 minutes, the Himawari 8 satellite, which is fucking directly above me at all times because it's in geostationary orbit, taking photographs of Australia, Japan, and Southeast Asia. That is absolutely irrefutable evidence. Now, you might say that that's CGI or whatever, but I would ask you to prove that. I've proven that it's not. I've literally stood in my backyard. I'm right next to the ocean, right next to the Indian Ocean, literally meters from the Indian Ocean. And I watched the Himawari 8 satellite. I watched a storm front come across the globe live in real time and when i looked up over the horizon i said to mrs demon any second now big clouds are going to start coming over that horizon i was able to say that with certainty with nothing else other than live images from the himawari 8 so that's just one of again many 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 proofs i've said this before i'll say it again the hundreds and thousands and at this stage probably millions of people that would have to be involved in this massive you know scam or whatever uh it's, it's just staggering um that not one of those people have ever genuinely come forward and said actually the earth is flat despite what some of you morons might claim anyway let's let's just move on with the pseudo side oh shit is that a bird or is it a pterodactyl you know what i mean a collection of uh false science beliefs that that don't fit scientific method um and i can give you a couple of examples too you know here go one example of the of the sun flying through space as the as the moon the earth and the planets follow behind it let me remind y'all now this is cgi video this is not an actual video of the sun traveling through space and all the other shit it's all cgi composited by the fundies you know what i mean who 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 make up these fairy tale lies you know so let me see what y'all think You know, so there you have it, man. That that's your evidence, or well, that's their evidence that they claim the sun travels through space hundred thousands of miles and all that bullshit, man. So this actually brings me back to a point that Team Skeptic made earlier when talking to Aaron Ra about his debate with um, Nathan Thompson. None of us claim that that is evidence at all of the sun moving through space and the planets orbiting the sun. Literally nobody provides that as evidence. That's a straw man, good sir. That is a very basic, very basic visual representation of what's happening in space. Absolutely nobody claims that that isn't CGI. Nobody claims that that is proof. Nobody claims it's accurate. Nothing like that. It's a very basic visual representation. Do you not understand? You and other flat earthers always make the same mistake when you show images of like the solar system that are used to teach kids. That's the point. They're used to show kids in very basic terms, something that you guys don't seem to be able to grasp at all. Little kids are shown these diagrams so that their minds don't fucking explode thinking about the vast speeds, the vast distances between planets. There's a fantastic video done by Mark Rober uh, about the, if you were to plot out the distances in football fields or whatever, it's really, really interesting. So they need to compress it because it's a huge amount of distance. Again, this is something that's designed for children. 
you know, these kind of visual representations. Any adult looking at that would not think for one minute that, that was supposed to be accurate in any way, shape or form. But you're a flat earther, so I'm not surprised that you think that is, you know, some kind of pseudoscience. I don't believe that, man. Ask them to show us real scientific experiments that, that shows that's what's going on. If not, I just believe in, in nonsense, man. This shit's crazy. The definition of pseudoscience. A collection of beliefs or practices mistakenly regarded as being based on scientific method. See, this shows the level that a flat earther is willing to go to in order to prove a point. Their just incredible ability to go out and actually research something. Such as how to say the word pseudoscience. <laughs> the irony, right? So here's the thing. Not only... Does it literally show you? I'll put it up right here. Not only does it literally show you how to pronounce the fucking word, it also actually said it in the background. Literally, as he was reading the definition, she was like, pseudoscience. And he's like, pseudoscience. Oh my fucking God, man. These people are so stupid, man. So that's, that's the definition of pseudoscience, basically, you know, and... There is no definition of pseudoscience because there is no such word as pseudoscience. With that being said, I don't want to see any um, practices of beliefs or false science or nothing like that to back up your claims. I want real uh, scientific experiments, a, a, a real scientific method, you know what I mean? So... This, this goes to any globe head, you know, can any globe head or scientist verify the sun traveling through space and how did they verify it? When did they do the experiments? What's the experiments called? Because anybody can get a whole bunch of text out of a textbook, and copy and paste and say, well, this is how they did it. Well, I can write my own textbook, my own book and, and say this is how I did something, but that's not an experiment. That's not verifying nothing, you know, and they want to call us crazy and say, oh, we can't verify this. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. We can verify a lot of shit just by common sense, by using natural law, using um, just regular basis, natural natural law and shit. But I can't do that, man. I go off beliefs that's not real. Again, it's your boy Trey Dior. Let me know what y'all think. I ain't gonna waste too much time on this video. But um, that's basically it, man. Let me know what y'all think. If any scientists prove um, their scientific method that the sun is traveling through space. Did anybody else just hear that in the background? Somebody just hawking COVID up all over the place. Traveling through space. If you can, that'd be great. If not, your whole globe is a lie. So I would never expect to have any intellectual honesty from any flat earther. Um, I have yet to see it, except for uh, Rachie. Rachie's literally the only one that I believe is genuinely intellectually honest. Um, aside from her, these guys, they try to hold us to such a high standard of proof. He expects me to go out and do my own independent experiment to prove the speed of the sun. Like there's literally been billions of dollars spent on experiments that study the solar system and, you know, other solar systems, etc. Like, why would I need to do that? You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's just like, oh, you haven't done it yourself. So it's like, what have you done? What have you done at all? I would love to see any experiment that you've done. Can you prove anything about your flat earth? You say that you use common sense. I don't think you probably have a whole lot of that, but please show us. Show us an experiment then. I'm waiting. I've, I've yet to see a model, a map that works, anything that works on a flat earth, literally anything. Everything works on a globe. You not understanding it, isn't proof that it doesn't exist or that it's not true. That is proof that you don't understand it or that you're stupid, especially when you call it pseudoscience. Oh my God, man. Anyway, lads and lassies, that's all I've got for you. Trade your, I'm calling you out once and for all. This is it. You have pussied out multiple times. Be a man, stand up and face the fucking music. Come on my live show. And let's have a debate. Or let's just have a chat. Let's just talk about it. It doesn't have to be a debate. It doesn't have to be adversarial. Let's just sit down, you and me, live stream, have a couple of smokes, and have a chat about it. We don't have to have the animosity if you don't want to have the animosity. I don't give a shit either way. But, you know, we can be nice. Because you were complaining that the Globies were being so mean in the comments section. And that's why you had to turn off the comments.
Don't be such a pussy. Come on, man. To quote Joe Biden. Come on, man. Come on over. Let's have a chat about it. Let's have a debate. Whatever you want to do. But don't just come here with all of this kind of, it's all CGI. It's all fake. Just bring something to the table. Show me a map. Show me a map that works. And let's talk about that. And then you tell me why the globe doesn't work. So there's, look, here's the deal. I'll bring my globe up there. You bring your map. And we'll talk it out. Tell me why mine doesn't work. I'll tell you why yours doesn't work. And let's see where we meet in the middle. If you don't accept coming on my show, you will be proven to be 100% bitch made. The gauntlet has been thrown. And I will wait. So lads and lassies, I'm not going to waste my time going over talking on his channel. I think I might be even blocked from his channel. So maybe head over to his most recent video. Be nice about it and tell him. Let's go. Let's have this this chat or this whatever. Just get over there and tell him. Him and his brother. I don't know if his brother exists. Long story. I'll explain it in another video. If he bitches out, I'll just keep making videos about him until he fucking decides to come and debate me. Anyway, lads and lassies, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Uh, I've had an influx of uh, new subscribers in the past few weeks. Um, I want to say thank you to uh, Seek Truth, Speak Truth for um, for bringing me up on one of his videos. And that's brought me a lot of uh, new subscribers. Much appreciated. Um, and just an awesome guy anyway, but thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. Uh, over the past few weeks, I've had a couple of new channel members and a couple of new Patreons. Uh, that's been fantastic. I am going to be sending out some stuff once a month to uh, a Patreon and a uh, channel member. So um, definitely, if you want to become a channel member, it really does help to support the channel. And uh, just if you can't do that, guys, just hit that like button on your way out of here. Thank you so much and slauncha.